Alrighty, man. What is going on, everybody, man? It's your boy Newcomb. And we back with your boy Franklin. Now, y'all already know what's going down, man. Actually, y'all don't know what's going down. So, I want to go to give y'all a brief, brief, brief recap of what we about to do. Because I did kind of mention this just a little bit on Instagram. So, you guys want to maybe go ahead and follow me on Instagram. That's why I be posting some things. But, I decided we're going to go ahead and we're going to revamp everything. Your boy Franklin is restarting his series once again. Except, we're going to completely restart flat. He ain't got nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? My boy Franklin is broke. $3,000. He ain't got no drugs, or at least I don't think he do. He, he shouldn't have any. I, I probably gotta restart that too. I think I forgot to restart that, but my boy ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got nothing. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm basically restarting the whole entire Real Hood Life series, and uh, he gotta rebuild up. Except this time I wanna go a lot slower. So um, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna be taking our time. We gotta give my boy. You know what I'm saying? We gotta redo his wardrobe. We gotta redo everything, bro. He ain't got no clothes. He ain't got no money. He ain't got no cars. He ain't got no guns. Oh, wrong one, wrong thing. Ain't got no guns. See, I forgot. That's how y'all know I ain't been playing my game like that, man. But yeah, so we gotta go to we gotta borrow Denise's uh her 2019 Santa Fe. I'm even surprised she got a 2019. Riding this damn fishbowl. We're gonna go ahead and we gotta uh, actually I wanted to do some meth travel. We're gonna go to the meth spot way in the uh, country. And uh, that's how we're gonna get your boy Franklin to start making a little money. I figured uh, that might be a good idea to go ahead and try and do. But I just realized, bro, we ain't got no guns, so we gotta go and pick up some guns. We, we need something. We can't go out there without nothing. So we're gonna need something. But then on top of having some, I'm gonna be borrowing Denise's, <laughs> Denise's Santa Fe for this. She gonna be mad as hell, bro, because we ain't got no car right now. We gotta redo everything. But basically, man, I just thought, like, after trying to do season five, I realized that it was kind of it was it was kind of starting to feel a little repetitive. So I was like, you know what, we're gonna restart. And then on top of that, I was like, man, I don't kind of I've been doing like really too much of the real life mod stuff, and I need to go back to the real hood life stuff, the stuff that really got me popping. You know what I'm saying? That the stuff, the stuff that I should have been doing from jump. So uh, this is gonna be the actual real life, I mean real hood life stuff, man. I'm leaving the real life mod stuff alone. I'm no longer doing the real life mod. It's gonna be real hood life from now on. So we're gonna be doing nothing but the illegal stuff. Back like, basically yo, we're going yo, back yo. to season one. On we're gonna be doing everything that we used to do like in season one. So I need to go ahead, we gotta get us a couple guns. I can remove the serial numbers for you if you want. Oh, I might need you to do that, bro. I gotta find. We actually gotta get something that's like not too expensive because we still gotta buy. Uh, we still gotta buy a bunch of drugs and stuff once we get to. Um, you know, once we get to the, uh, the meth lab. I think I'm pretty sure we gotta buy that stuff. Ooh, hey, I take that. It's free. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and me fill it up real quick. We will take about a thousand bullets, and that probably won't even be enough. Put that extended clip on there. But we get this stuff for free, man. I like this. They, they gave us a free gun. Okay. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Got a scope. Flashlight. No, we might need that flashlight. You never know. And it's obviously through that suppressor on there, bro. Wait. Did it do on my gold camera? Why it look like... It ain't... Okay, never mind. Is there any other free ones? You can ask me about anything. It's not available. What's supposed to be right? What's supposed to be right there? Oh, it says no item is available. Okay, how about it, sir? So there is nothing else. Okay, there's nothing else that's free. You know, like oh, we're gonna take the jury can. We might need that guy. You never know. You never know. All right, uh, pistols. These are very popular with our other street-focused clientele. I, I bet it is. I keep one of those by the toilet. You never know. You don't, man. You see, he just said the same thing I've been saying. You never know. I gotta figure out what pistol we should probably go with. Or if we should even... No, we'll, we'll slide them just Enjoy right now. We got us a free strap. We're gonna ride with that free strap for a little bit. A I believe we should have our... We should have armor and stuff already. Put that on, you can give anybody shit. Not yeah, we already have it. We're straight on armor. Yeah, let's go ahead and make our way. Make our way to the country, man, so we can go ahead and start up. Wanna go ahead and get this trapping done. 
Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Oh my god. This map freezing is annoying. See, that's gonna happen though. I gotta figure out. Actually, I know how to stop that. I just gotta go ahead and get a few more PC parts for this PC. But hey, let's go ahead and make our way down there. Y'all definitely gotta let me know what y'all think about this new revamp, the new uh, series redo. And uh, that also means that Franklin's gonna have to rebuy all of his cars and everything. I decided, you know, I'm not gonna bring any cars back. I'm not gonna bring anything back, bruh. We're, we're starting over fresh as if this was season one of the real hood life. So, you know what I'm saying? We're restarting completely. We're gonna be robbing banks, all that good stuff this entire season. We'll be making money. I'm just gonna be taking everything a little slower. A lot slower, actually, man. Because I know this man, season, I think after we did like season two, after season one and two, it's like everything was kind of spread up, so I kind of, you know, I kind of want to go back and I want to redo all that. Man. I don't, I don't want to speed up everything. I want to take my time with this stuff. But we supposed to be having fun with this game, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, sitting up there going really fast through everything, it's not gonna be fun. So we're gonna take our time. Your boyfriend's gonna be building cars, houses, real estate, everything that he was doing before. I'm, I'm gonna add in, except it's just it's gonna be the real hood life. You know, the real hood life stuff, man. I'm not going to be doing the real life mod. He's going to be doing way more illegal stuff. My boy Franklin's going to be way more illegal. You know what I'm saying? Way more. We're going to be doing a lot more hood stuff, basically. But I'm just going to go back to season one. Simple. Let's see that already, man. But yeah, I do apologize for that. I, another little, kind of minor little hiatus. I kind of did, like, like just stop posting again for, like, what? Was it like two weeks or something like that? But man, the job, that car detailer job that I was working, man, that job was just a little demanding, bro. They, they wanted like 11, 12 hour shifts. And it's crazy because it, it, we were supposed to be doing like eight hour days. And, and you know, the difference is, it's like from the eight hour and the 12 hour days, you don't get paid no more. You get paid the same amount. So you're just spending an extra four hours at work to get the same amount of money. And it's like, I, I, ain't, I ain't really with that. You know what I'm saying? So I had to go ahead and dip on that. Bro. I gotta give me another job. And give me something that's gonna work out better for my YouTube schedule. Cause I really wanna get this back pop. I wanna make sure I stay consistent with y'all. And I know y'all been really wanting these videos anyway. And I did do a little bit of recording. So I got a couple videos already pre-recorded and ready to go. I just wanted to go ahead and uh, go do this cause I obviously didn't redo this series. And I'm glad I didn't pre-record any GTA. Because then I would have had to scrap all those videos just to redo the series. So, yeah. But hopefully you guys do, uh, you know, like the decision that I'm making with this. And I'm pretty sure you guys are going to enjoy the whole revamp and, you know, the whole redo of the Real Hood Life series. And there's actually a few uh, new mods that I want to go ahead and get working too. That we'll be playing around with. But we're almost at the meth lab. Go ahead and make us some trapping, uh, make us some money. And we got to do some trapping days too, so we're gonna be doing some trapping. You know, all that good stuff, bro. Right? All that good stuff. My boy Franklin just about to be back out here. Gotta figure out what banks we're gonna be robbing and stuff too. ATM robberies. Like I don't know, man. It's a bunch of stuff that I gotta stow. I really wanna bring back the gang mod too, and I wanna redo that, like how. I'm redoing really real life my, I mean the real hood life, so. Yeah, be on the lookout for that as well over the next few days. And uh, Trevor's series is actually gonna stay. I'm not gonna change his series at all. I just gotta get more content recorded for it. But yeah, Trevor's series is staying the same. I forgot, but if I was gonna stay out here during the day, we gotta start coming over here at night, bro. I don't really, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really trying to waste money having to buy ammo and stuff all the time. Santa Fe right here. But I'm telling you, Denise gonna be mad when she figure out what we've been doing with her Santa Fe. <laughs> she gonna be like, bruh, why you been taking my joint out of that man? See, cause then it's like, what if she get you No, know, what, what if I do something with one of these one of these plugs or one of these dealers? They gonna be looking for that white Santa Fe and she end up driving one day. They just gonna shoot that bitch up. You know what I'm saying? They, they ain't gonna be trying to see who driving. They just gonna shoot that bitch up. Alright, but let's see. Um manufacture distribute i'm not sure if my meth lab st stuff restarted or not i don't even i think because i think it did i'm not sure you see supplies it says cost okay uh so this would be what two thousand for this or oh, 200 all right 
Okay, all right, that's a good way to that's a good way to start. Let's go ahead and go pick up the first supply. Two hundred dollars. It's just gonna be a little two hundred dollar profit. Whoa, whoa. Okay. It's just gonna be a little two hundred dollar profit real quick. We we'll make some money real quick. But yeah, like I was saying, Bam, about that job. It's like that job was like very demanding. They they, they like they focus more on speed and uh, speed and quality when it came to you know actually detailing the cars and stuff. But it's like it, you gotta you gotta have both. You can't have one or the other. And if you're not moving at the pace that they would like, bro, they were gonna be on your ass. And it's like I didn't really like that, bro. I didn't really like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't really I don't like jobs where people are you know what I'm saying on my neck, on my ass. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make sure, or you know they trying to make me do the whole nine. I don't mind, you know, I don't mind putting in that work at work, but, you know what I'm saying, there's a, I, I gotta get some, let me get some gas real quick, but there, there's a difference between putting in that work and just straight overworking and overgrinding, like, bro, it was crazy, the, the, the type of work that they wanted you to do, bro, they, like, they wanted you to clean, like, uh, let's say a Suburban came through the line, they would want you to clean, like, your side of the Suburban, because they would give you sides, like, they would want you to clean your side of the Suburban in, like, three minutes, three, four minutes. You would have to do the front seat. Like say if I have the driver's side, I would have to clean the, the, the driver's side, the the, the, uh, the seat behind the driver's side, and then the third row seat in the back, and possibly the trunk if I'm not mistaken. Because the, the way they do it is like uh, the driver's side has, oh no, no, the driver's side had front end and the passenger side would clean the rear end. So it, it, I don't, it, the way they did it was just, it was weird, man. And then imagine having to clean a Suburban in four or five minutes, and then as that car is leaving, you have to you know, get ready for the next car, and the next car is like, and my game just crashed. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So, we are back, and I'm trying to get everything back going so we can continue, but apparently as I'm trying to get everything back going, we got some Raiders in the meth lab trying to raid my meth lab, bro. So we got to go ahead and take care of these folks. I had to pause my game and everything. Do I even... Oh, I ain't even got my strap no more. That's not fair, bro. That is not. Oh, that is not fair. That is not. Oh my god, that's not fair, bro. Like, what? I gotta go ahead and cheat and give myself all the weapons real quick. Hopefully, y'all don't mind that, man, because I gotta do what I gotta do, bro. They they just tried to cheese me, bro. They just tried to cheese me, bro. See, cause my game crashed and we ain't save after I after I uh, crashed my game. So hopefully, y'all don't mind that too much. Tango down. Tango down. All right, there's more. There's definitely more. I hear him. Where he at, though? Oh, he must be downstairs. Oh! Tango down. Woo. All right, man. All right, we're, gonna, we're probably going to have to rebuy all my guns and stuff. Because I completely forgot about it not saving my guns after my game just crashed. Woo. Where he at? Oh, oh, did it go over there? Oh, go tingle down, tingle down. Whoa! Where did he come from? Alright. Woo! That was kind of close, bro. Alright. Boy. How does Spike get raided already? Jesus, man. How did Spike get raided already? God, man. Alright. So hopefully y'all don't mind how crazy that just kind of happened. Because uh, it wasn't supposed to happen like that. So I'm going to have to remove that. And I don't even know what gun it was that we had. So I'm going to have to add... Uh, shoot. I don't even know. You know what? I'm going to just add on one. We just add on the pistol 50. I actually like that pistol a lot, so we just add on that pistol. I got ammo for it, all right. We'll just go with this for right now until we uh, can get everything back situated. Cause my game just crashed and that just cheesed me out, man. But all right, we'll go ahead and do 25 this time. So it's $500. All right, man. Ambulance is out here trying to save these folks. But they just tried to raid my spot, bro. You gonna save these folks? They just tried to raid me, man. Hey, don't save these folks. Come. You think you're 
Come, come here. On, Don't man. save these folks, bro. Leave these folks. Let them die. Leave them alone. Ain't these folks out here just trying to raid my spot, take my money. You thought? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yo, just try to raid my spot, bro. Y'all should just went back to work. After I said no. Simp. Try to raid my spot. I think they gonna still live? What? Get the fuck. Alright, let's go ahead and let's go pick up the supply real quick. Hopefully everything goes good this time and my game doesn't crash. Wait, why does the paint job look different? This car is not... Or, I don't know, man. I might be, I might just be tripping, man. It's supposed to be white. And Oh, there we go. I think. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let me see, man. It's supposed to be white. This is funny. Let me see, man. I just got to go ahead and fix this real quick. But, but yeah, like I was saying about the job, man. Like I was saying about the job, man. They, 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 just, they, just, they just wanted you. Oh, yeah. It was white. Okay. Might have just been my graphics then. But, like, they, they just wanted you to do everything. Like, they just wanted you to slave. They wanted you to slave for them, man. Basically, they wanted you to slave for them, and then it's like I'm, I'm, I can't do it, bro. Y'all know, y'all know the type of person I am. I, I don't like, I don't really like working for people in the first place. I thought that job was gonna last, man. I thought I was gonna have some fun with it, but no sir, man, no sir. I see. I'm gonna just have to make sure I get this YouTube back going. Go back to full time YouTube. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the episode, nonetheless, man. Just know that this is episode one of Real Hood. Yeah, Real Hood Life. I'm gonna say something else. That's why I kind of stopped a little bit. But this is episode one of Real Hood Life, and uh, you know, this is, there is no season, so. We're just gonna go ahead and leave it at that. Alright, we got it. Oh, we already spent the money. I'm tripping. I'm thinking we gotta give them the money and stuff. We already done spent the money. Alright, here we go. So we got picked up. We just picked up 25 tons of supplies. Let's go back to the shop. We'll see if we can probably uh, actually make a sale on something real quick. Tell you them folks came up in here trying to raid my spot, bro. Like what? And real, real quick, real quick, before we actually continue, let me pop a save so we can at least keep this process of progress. But we're gonna be riding around in Denise's uh, Santa Fe until we actually uh, get our own little joint. And you know, we gotta actually make us some money. I told y'all we finna take this slow, so we finna be riding in uh, this Santa Fe probably for like the next three or four episodes. Or however long it takes us to make a decent amount of money to buy something that we want. I'm gonna have to find us a nice little fleet of cars that you pick from and everything, man. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta go out to go uh, car shopping again. Well, yeah, Franklin kind of car shops all the time, so it won't be nothing new. But I can believe Ivago's real deal. Just tried to raid my spot, bro. All right, I still got the bullet holes in my shirt. Let's see what else we can do real quick. Still all about that money, you know what I'm saying? Still gotta make some more of that money. All right, here we go. All right, so we got the supplies. Let me see the upgrades. I know the upgrades is when we have to go and you know, actually have some shootouts with some folks. So, you know what? Let's keep supplying. Let's keep supplying. We ain't, we ain't really gonna make too much money this episode. We're gonna just supply so we can have it all ready. Probably in the next episode, we're just gonna start dis uh, distributing, make some money, you know what I'm saying? Just start dropping stuff off, picking it up, dropping it off, picking it up, dropping it off, making plays. All right, man, so, yeah, we're gonna see, man. I might do one little upgrade. I don't know, we, we might try, we might try and do one, uh, one little upgrades mission uh, before the end of this episode, just to see if we can you know, at least upgrade the shop a little bit. Okay, the mess up. Your boy Frank was trying to get rich. Again. <laughs> he trying to get rich again, man. It's like the third, what, the third time? Fourth time? But it's all good, man. We got a quarter mile remaining until we make it to the supply. I think it's the same supplier as before. So yeah, this is the same supplier. We can pick up just another 25, another I guess 25 bags from you know the same supplier. 
I wonder if we can actually cook the meth and all that, like how we used to with the old, I think this is the same meth mod. Just, it's been updated a lot. Like, it was changed, I ain't even gonna lie. This mod was changed so much. Nice job picking up the new supplies. Now we can start cooking another batch. All right, so I think that's what we'll probably do now. Let's go ahead and let's go cook some up. Front wheel drive SUV. Let's go ahead and let's start, let's start cooking it up. Making it up. We're gonna start cooking the meal. Get ready to make the sales. Probably gonna be in the next episode we're gonna make the sales. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the episode though, nonetheless, like I did already say. I'm gonna get back on and popping with this. I'm gonna probably uh, end up getting the Need for Speed Payback video ready for today's second upload. So that's, so you guys will get this for first. But that thing stopped in the middle of the road. Oh, shit. Ooh, Denise gonna be mad. All right, we'll just get that fixed, bro. I ain't worried about it, we'll just get that fixed. I already know Denise gonna be mad about that right there. She gonna be like, "Boy, you can't be driving my damn truck no more." Damn yeah, bitch, shut up. Real talk, shut up. All right, so we done pulled in. Let's go ahead and uh, I guess we'll see about making. Let's see if we can make something real quick. I don't know why, but the way my boy is dressed reminds me of playing as Lamar. So let's see what we can do real quick. Uh, I'm actually uh, pop another save real quick because it seems like this mod is pretty kind of unstable, but it, it's very stable. It just has its unstable moments, basically. All right, so let's see. Let's manufacture. Let's do a large batch. We started cooking the large batch. We'll be ready shortly. I just wanted to cook it, get it going. 59 grams. Let's do another one. We just stack up, man. We just stack up. I think we got like 50, 50 bags of su supplies, I think. Oh, damn. That was uh, a very small yield. You there? We didn't really get that much out of that. So we two. All right, let's keep on cooking. We're going to cook. It's probably be the last one right here. Or we'll just cook all the method we got. So we'll do one more. All that. So that's the last one. Okay, 32 grams. Distribute. Bulk sell all product. Check product stock. We had 274 grams of meth cooked. Let's arrange a deal real quick. Oh, damn. We dropped about 245 grams for 19,000. All right, you know what? We can't even do it. We got to cancel it. It ain't going to work. All right, so you know, we're going to save that. I ain't even worried about it right now, bro. We got some real good money. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Hold up. Hold up, bro. Yo, oh, you don't want no smoke, bro. Oh, when we get that? I think we picked that up from bro. Hold up, man. These folks, they want some smoke again, bro. How you going to be in my trap? How you going to be in my trap doing this, bro? Let's see where they at. Let's see where they at. Oh, they going upstairs. Hold up. They trying to come get me. Yeah, they trying to come get me. They trying to come get me. Yeah, shoot you down them steps real quick. Shoot you down them steps. Yeah, yeah, tingle down. Uh-huh, he tried it. There's one more. There's one more. Oh, I just shot. I just shot the center fade by accident. Whoa, where he come from? Oh, hillbilly. I just realized how are the Vagos the ones that are really trying to run my meth business right now? They don't never Sorry even. I don't know. That don't make no sense to me. I thought it was always you know Trevor folks out here trying to do the meth. All right. So we got. We got what we got. Now y'all know we got to probably make us a good little deal, a good little sale in the next episode. So with that being said, man, hope you guys did enjoy this episode of the Real Hood Life series. 
if you guys did make sure you guys drop a like down below hit the subscribe button if you haven't already make sure you guys follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter links are in the description down below and i will catch you guys in the next episode or live stream man peace on out i'm gonna get some gas real quick but whoever this is need to move this the block the whole whoa where did that office come from All right, I'm pulled over. What you trying to do? I'll go ahead and take this ticket real quick for you in the episode. Let's go ahead. We'll take the ticket real quick before we end the episode, man. You know, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with taking no quick little ticket, man. See what you trying to give me? Probably gonna give me for speed. Is there a speed? We're running that stop sign back there. It's a time yeah, I knew it was a stop sign. It had to. This truck don't go too fast. Had to be the stop sign. And you know, I ain't even gonna cap, man. Doing the doing that car diesel job, man. I actually done been in a bunch of these, and bro, these are actually pretty nice. I ain't gonna cap. The 2019 Santa Fe's. They're actually pretty nice. But with that being said, man, hope you guys did enjoy this episode of the Real Hell Life series. I will definitely catch you guys in the next one, man. Make sure you guys smash that like button for your boy. The return of the old series. I'm finna be back doing all the stuff that your boy was doing before. Just Thompson. So I will see you guys in the next episode or live stream, man. Peace.